I had to delete another video half an hour, so this will go on all night, all night. People are waiting there for me now, all night. Now I look that way and walk. I'll get bothered in a bit. So we'll try to ignore all these people, mind our own business. Now I guarantee if I turn quickly, there'll be nobody there. Look, nobody there. Because their idea is to be there when I turn. That's how they do it. Behind your back, they position themselves in certain places. There's the proof. As soon as I turn back, there's no one there already. But now in a while, they'll show up. Whether here or across the street, look. So the only way this could happen is if people are right around you, getting ready in a circle to stalk you. And the only way for them to be able to do that properly and effectively and efficiently, the way they've been doing it, is through a microchip. So I'm gonna show this to a real eye doctor, hopefully if I get the chance to meet one in the next 2,000 years. Because every hospital I go to, they're not there. They wanna transfer me to them and make me wait seven months. So soon, I'm gonna get to sit down with one and I'm gonna show him this video and take out the microchip from my body. Because it's the only way this could happen to you guys, something like this, this efficient. It's the only way. This is torture. And it's being done in plain sight. And the cops are running on it. Here we go. Slowly they come out because they know you're approaching. How else? How else could this guy do this if he didn't know that you were slowly approaching? From behind the car. So you're obviously, obviously being tracked. Forget about the harassment and everything else. You're obviously, you have a smoke? No, was it just... You're obviously being tracked. And you're being bothered the whole time. That's all. So it's obviously, obviously that. But how? But you have to be microchipped. This is the only way. There's no other way for this to happen, guys. For something this abusive and this technically precise to happen. It can't. This has been going on for a year on me. It's a miracle that I withstood this bullshit, this abuse, one year. And this is nothing. It was way more hardcore before. I just didn't understand what was going on. I've been taking this. Look, look, look. See the one that was standing there? He had to kneel and grab something and walk this way. So he was standing there. As soon as I turned to head that way, he started heading this way. This is the only way this could happen, something like this. Otherwise, it can't. So it's people all around you in a circle, sitting in their cars, whatever. As soon as you look that way, they come out. The reason why I filmed this video for you tonight in this fashion to show you that it's in my eyes, the microchips. The microchips in my eye and it creates some kind of a, 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 a sonar signal for them to know that I'm looking that way in order for them to come out of their car. It's not just in my body. It's in my eyes. It's, it's, it's directional. It's where I view. It's my view. So if I view there, then they'll move. You see? The car moves now. Right? If I view there, then they'll move. So they'll pretend they're walking out slowly like this, like a little rat. As soon as I look that way, they'll come out. So it's in my eyes, the microchip. This is the only place it could be for this to happen, for this to be available, and for them to be equipped with some sort of a receiver or something. Otherwise, they couldn't know it precisely when you turned there, because they're not just the way this one came. She didn't just walk this way like this slowly. Not very obvious, obviously, but pretending she's walking slowly. As soon as you look and she feels that vibration from your microchip, then she walks towards you like she did. But that's the only way. The only way this could happen, and now again, another because they're set up, there's a group ready. One, two, three, four, five, to get you everywhere you turn. I can't turn in a certain direction and not see movement. It's impossible. Look, now they move over there. Look, look. They go to their car, this car goes on. So, because I'm looking that way, right? And I'm looking this way. 
How else? Now I get away from them. Same thing will happen here. Somebody will come out of that store over there. Look. So I have a microchip in my eyes. They have some kind of transmitter or a receiver to this. They're not even denying it anymore. And obviously I live in Canada. The government knows about this. Because it's in plain sight and so many people in on it. And it's all over the city. All throughout the city. So it's obviously the government knows about it here. That they're abusing the citizen in this fashion and he's microchipped. Now if it was only this country, I'll leave. I'll go somewhere else. I don't mind. But I want this microchip out. And I want it out here before I go anywhere because I traveled back in the past and every country I went to they've done this to me regardless whether it was the citizens of that country or Canadians that preceded me there regardless so this has been something that's put in me now this ass wipe I've seen him three times tonight three times that's all they do they pace they annoy you on the way there they pace all the way down to pace and annoy you another time. That's their job. They work. It's a, it's a living. Look. They park in the parking lot with the lights in your face. They work off this microchip. They abuse this person. That's microchip. That's their job. And this happens to me all throughout the city. Everywhere I go. It's been going on for a year. It's mad. And a huge financial war on me to keep me without money. Every month it's the same. So if this was a country that doesn't want you, they wouldn't wage a war on your financial being so you can have enough money so you can leave and not deal with this. But before I leave here like an idiot, I want to make sure that the microchip is out of me and then I will leave. Because this is abuse and torture, like it's never been done before in human history. I'm being used as a battery, as an energy source. I'm activating all this. Being prevented from building a life, meeting people, anything, everything. Job, anything, anything. I'm, I'm a prisoner. Strapped up everywhere I go, it's like this. Watched, monitored, abused. Look, look. Look. From where to where? Now they're already down there taking positions. So this microchip, the way it works, you create a certain vibration in a certain area for those people to come out or cars to come in. That's how they know. They feel it. I really don't know exactly how. Okay? They do that. That's the way they know. I want it out. And I'm trying to see a doctor. They're only allowing me to book with it now that I come here to cross look. From that plaza, from that way to this way. But what's going on here? Nothing's happening. People are just waiting for me in certain areas. As soon as I get there, they move, they talk, and the cars turn around or come out or come in. That's exactly what happened tonight, the whole night. So now I'm going to walk that way. See the guy that came across this way? Look where he is now. That's him. I swear to you. Watch. That's him. That crossed the parking lot earlier, the short guy. Look. There's another one walking towards me now with a red jacket.
So look, look, there's an asshole looking at me inside the car. Even here. It doesn't matter where I go. I could go hide behind those buildings over there. Somebody will be parked there inside his car or passing by behind those buildings. I've done it before. So if it's not this schmuck, it's another one. It's, it's, you can't win. So it's, it's planted all around you in the whole area. Planted. Before you come out, waiting to attack the microchip guy. That's how this works. And constant planes on top of your head, however they route them. So it's obviously the country doing this to me. The government. This is governmental for this something to happen and them not to know about it. I sent a letter to the CSIS guy. Nothing. It's been a couple of weeks. hasn't been a month. I'm supposed to wait 30 days. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's like I'm talking to a wall. Nothing. The CSIS director. So the battery is almost dying here, guys. I'm going to start to head back home. Just to show you, it's pretty much the, you know, abuse. Everything, every day that I go through, abuse, abuse, abuse like this. And the cops won't do anything about it. They're in on it. They do the same thing. Abuse. That's it. Same thing over there. Same thing everywhere I go. They wait. They're sitting inside the store. As soon as they see my microchip head that way, they wait and come towards this way. And it's families and normal people, so they're obviously making a living out of it. Nobody would do this for free. And you see the cigarette in my face. He took a drug of it when I looked at him. Just to show you that they're not only there pacing and doing this to you, they're given the information on how to fuck with your head too. Now we get 10,000 big trucks. It's, it's, I can't breathe. Everywhere I go is like this. They come out of the store over there. Because it's my eyes. It's wherever I look. As soon as I look in a certain area, the movement happens. They know. They feel vibration. I don't know. One of them told me once that that's what they feel, vibration or something like that. Now, when I'm on my... my look, look. So they stop. And then they keep going. Because it's where I look. The action has to take place. See, look at that car move now. When I looked over there. So the guy inside the car knows that I'm looking that way. He's not just watching me. He can feel it. These little punks too. You can't get away from them. So let's go get a cigarette off this guy, see if we get one. Or they can abuse us some more. Not only are they here to stalk us and abuse us, but they're also here to mistreat you when you talk to them. This is the whole deal with this microchip thing. If I take it out right now, none of this would happen. None of these people would know where you are. That's the whole point of it. Sorry to bother you guys. Can I put smoke anyone here? Yeah. 100%. Thanks, man. So. And it's, it's, look at the way he said, yeah, like, yeah, you know, it's, you gotta remember the same entity that's putting these people here to bother me is the same entity that's not letting me work. It's the same entity that's waging a war on my account. It's the same entity that stole my business, God knows how many years ago, that I was making millions out of. And put me in this situation to begin with. So whatever this entity is, whether it was this country itself, Canada that did this to me, or an international, you know, I don't really give a shit anymore who. All I know is whichever way I look, there are people set up in the environment that precedes me. When I go in there, whichever way I look, they move. They create movement. And that's besides all the monitoring, mistreatment, not letting me work. So it's a hell world being created for me. And none of it would, it would exist if I wasn't being tracked and they know where I am to do this to me. Otherwise, they can't do this to me if they don't know where I am. So, so 
I mean, so most of them admit it right now. The ones at least in my area. You know, they have to because it's pretty obvious. It's in my face right now, the abuse. And they get them to walk in a certain way and smile in this fake, fake sort of happy, we're happy and we're making you miserable. It's got this fake aura to it that they're trying to annoy you. And there's, they pretend they're oblivious to it when they pass by with a straight face. But that's not a human being anymore you're dealing with. <sighs> so, I'm going to find out very soon, very, very soon, exactly what the hell's going on here. I ain't even going to bother going to the cops and showing this video anymore because they do the same to me. It's almost becoming an insult. They do it to me inside the, uh, inside the cop station. Wherever I look, they start pacing and shutting doors in the, inside the cop station. So what the hell's the point of going there? And the courthouse everywhere. And they have me imprisoned in this bubble. So I want to meet a real doctor from the same faces that I see on the internet on these websites. Because I want to make sure I'm speaking to the right doctor, not some schmuck pretending to be him. And I want him to do an eye exam, which he will find the microchips in there because it's the only way this could happen. If I wasn't monitored, I wouldn't meet these two schmucks. I wouldn't see this bus passing by me if I wasn't microchipped. I don't want this. So, this is an assassination, man. To kill someone from the inside, to make you rot slowly to squeeze you, to stress you. You could get cancer in a week going through the stress of something like this. And they do it to you with a straight face. But they're not human beings anymore. And they want to provoke you even more. So they get someone that lives in my building to stand in my way, far away from my building, and to do this. But you got to ignore because you're dealing with animals if they do this to you. They're not human beings anymore. You just got to get the microchip out. That's what I'm concerned about. Once I get it out, then I'm happy. I don't have to see them. I don't have to deal with them anymore. But you can't. You can't let this drag you in it. There's an attack on you. A huge attack. This bitch, either she came from there or from there, obviously timed it perfectly that by the time you get here she could come out now just her and now she stupidly backs up to try to pretend she's nice but that's what they do and this asshole's the same thing they time it perfectly to do that it's like the Truman Show I can tell them both to stop they won't move they won't do anything they're like robots because they are that's what they do when they attack your microchip you're being monitored you're being another one comes in so there's this circle of cars and people around you everywhere you go everywhere guys everywhere What well, you just saw earlier tonight downtown today same thing happens everywhere worse downtown because they can get away with more people say it's downtown and it's not just this it's the huge psychological warfare on you with billboards and uh, men doing certain things to remind you of certain things women posing in front of you everything everything But you can see when they walk towards their car, they're not sure whether to go the full walk or to stop. So what I do is when I look that way, I look that way. When I look that way, you know what they do? They're like, they don't know whether to keep going or to stop. But I've seen that happen before. It's hilarious. <sighs> this is a video that I want to show to the eye surgeon, an ophthalmologist after he tells me there's no microchip in your eye because this is the only way it could happen and this technology there's a, a websites on it on the internet the NSA released records showing how a micromillimeter nanochip could be inserted into your optical nerve where they could actually see what you see and hear what you hear and hear what you say how is that possible I don't know how they got that thing into my optical nerve I don't know I had two laser eye surgeries 
one in 97 and one in 2002. And these problems, believe it or not, I was too dumb and gullible to it back then to my surrounding, started in 97, right after I got the first right eye lasered up to be able to see better for God's sakes. Look what happened. So they inject it into the optical nerve. They say they do it through the white part, through the eye. And they inject, look, I have to see this romantic endeavor over there to get jealous. It's fake too. It's fake. You could see it. It's a setup. It's not real. So I was put into this fake world. I woke up. I realized the truth. It's been a year. They've been trying to force it down my throat, make it worse and worse for me. Worse and worse. I went to the cops a couple of times. It's like talking to a wall. They're in on it. They do the same thing to you inside the police station than they do out here. They get attractive cop women to bend over. I've seen it all, guys, over the year. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it's a charade. So, all of this is not important anymore. Now I got to the bottom of it, that I know that I'm microchipped. It's the only way I could be monitored like this and stalked and know exactly where I am the whole time. And not only microchipped, microchipped in my eyes because it's where I look, things start to move and happen. Inside the pizza store, watch. You want to make those people move? Look, the one in the red shirt. See, the arm went up and waved. Look, oh shit, I wasn't facing that. Well, look, she's moving. She put her head down. Look, look, look. Now she walks away. Now he walks away. He points at the billboard. Watch. I don't know if you could see that stuff. Now he's going to put his arm down. See? How did I know that? Because it's my eyes. It's where I look. Now she's going to move that I'm looking at her. She's going to eat. She's going to put her head down. Look at the bag. Take out more food from the bag. Look back down. Take out the food. Put it back in her mouth. But that's how it is. So it's in your eyes. But they have to feel something to know that you're looking at them for them to move. Otherwise, they won't do it. That's the whole point of proving that there is something in me that connects me to these scumbags. That I don't want. I want it out. Now, this is the kind of video that I can proudly walk into a place and show it to them. And if they deny what they're seeing, then my friends, these are not human beings or obviously they run on it. A blind man, if he watches the video that I recorded for you tonight, I'm going to make two parts, three parts, and I'm going to make one, put them all together in one. It's like an hour, an hour or something. It's pretty fucking obvious what's happening to me. And I didn't do it to show that I'm being stalked. I already have enough videos on that. I did it in a way to show you that it's my eyes that are microchipped. Or it's something to do with when or where I look. If they're not in my eyes, they're somewhere to control that. Or, you know what I mean? Otherwise, the, something like this could not happen. Everywhere you turn, things move. You know? Whether it's behind you or in front of you or beside you. And if I look at this woman, she'll keep on moving. She'll grab her back, she'll grab her ass, she'll fix her shoes, she'll bend over, she'll look in her purse, she'll scratch her head, she'll play with her hair the whole time that I'm looking. So obviously, to my microchip, which is a transmitter, she's got some kind of receiver to know that I'm looking at her, to keep moving. This is the technology that we're dealing with here. How it's done, I have no fucking clue. Excuse my français. I don't. I didn't do it. I didn't make it. But the sneaky doctor who inserted it into me without my consent 20-something years ago should fall for it if he's still alive. He looked like he was nine years old. So this guy was staying by the car. That's the only way this could happen. As soon as I passed by and I looked, he walked from the car to the bank. But that's the only way this could happen, what I just showed you on camera. So it's like the Truman Show, pretty much. Same. Look at the car, look, look, look. Getting ready to come out, look, look, watch. It's gonna come, that one too, look, look, look. As I walk, as I come closer, they come out, both of them. It's the only way this could happen. 
is they set up in the area all around you in a circle, big circle. And they wait for you to look in that certain direction they pass. And how do they know? It's not even knowing your location, it's where your eyes look. It creates some kind of a vibration field for them to know that it's over there, they have to cross it. I've been watching this for the last six months. This is, this is how this happens. But that's all I encounter. I go downtown, there's nobody in the office buildings, guys. That works. Bunch of masquerading. And the hospitals everywhere. There ain't no real doctors. All they do is pace in there. And talk about psychological warfare and laugh. And keep shutting doors and slamming doors open. But that's all they do. I have enough videos. Watch them. So now I'm supposed to meet. Um, I have an appointment on the 27th uh, next month, September, with Dr. Herzig. The, the place where they do laser eye surgeries. Now this guy's pretty big and international. And I know what he looks like. And he's supposed to show at that appointment on the 27th. I'm paying $200 for it. That's fine. I don't care about the money. I'll pay it. I want to see this doctor in there that particular day and to do the test for my eyes. And I'm 100% sure he will find something in there. More like a thousand. I want to meet a doctor, a real one, and get these microchips out of my eyes. That's it. 